Hi, good morning everybody. This is my uh, uh, my work. I just finished this room today, uh, this morning. Uh, I stuck yesterday for some stupid mistakes. Uh, I still don't understand why they call you um, a room grab because uh, I didn't use it. And then I talk about OCNet scales. So I, t I couldn't find too much in OCNet in the beginning, to be honest with you. So I will solve it in two different ways. I'm using Zap for this too. So let's let's uh, and then I, I got some hint of friend of mine. So regarding the OCNet. So basically, we do the always. Okay, my I, I just started now. Uh, my IP is this. So uh, this is my IP ten nine two two four eight. I hate. And maps sometimes take long, so when I run now uh, Rust scan, okay, it'll tell me that they have 22 the shell, the 80, 443, and 5137. Let me let me zoom in on, on both of them and let's see. <coughs> let's start with 413 port. Let's leave it there. It's a uh, what we have. We have uh, mark address perform report. There's nothing special. Then the next IP, the next one is. Uh, let me get my IP. Hold on a second. Let me concentrate on doing this write up. Uh, the next one is five one three three seven. <coughs> Sorry. Five one three three seven. So the f uh, is there four one th no four four three. What's wrong with me? Okay, we can go. I will start something. Let's start with the first one. The port eighty. It just Apache. As you know, uh, there's some rooms you need to check source or things like that. Uh, I remember there's some rooms even for these things they add something there. So we know we don't have. So if I go now to the HTTPS part of it <coughs> give me a warning so it's self signed so now if I go now this 51337 it's an SSL so you need to access with HTTPS it gives some kind of forbidden for whatever reason it's an Apache um, organization internet it gives self that's it that's what I have now <coughs> so let's Let's and then if I go to four four one three, well, what the, it should be default SSL. Which what's I'm not concentrating this morning. So if I go advanced now, accept the risk because it's local signed. I get forbidden. Okay, cool. So if I go to the next one, because the room it has it. Again, it's at forbidden communication. I think you need to give the option to ignore SSL, but that's fine for now. Five one three three seven. Let's do the recon for now. Five one three three seven. It said your boss's request that it's seven. It's a seven level, so we need to go with HTTPS for this one, as it said in the map. Again. It said, you see the fact that they warn us twice. You said this is one and two, so these they're not the same SSL. So again, it's forbidden. So what we do? Uh, if we go again here, I think Nmap has an option for ignore SSL, but but it's fine. I, I will tell you how I did it in any case. Everybody has his own way to do it. So my way, whenever I find this SSL things warning, I always like to see the certificate. So it said, some state search me, so you know uh, the name of the organization. We'll see that lot. Then we have the company name. We can see this, so, so you can get an idea here. That's his domain, so we can come here. You know these little tricks that you can do? Because sometimes forbidden is because of things. So if I go to this one, the, the 5137, and I can just go, 
more information give me the search for this you see this one to search uh, search me site and this one internet widget I thought before when I did OSIN that I was searching for this company and then you can see the domain is here and that is the domain later on for lead checker so I can add them here so I know so now the question is so we have the certs now if I change this now to, to go straight to the domain name again it will ask because I'm changing the URL so it will ask the warning now we have the email check now if I do the same here grab dot me again it will me to search me which is like totally this uh, the sets this one and then we have email checker but this one is <coughs> is clicked in this so we have this information so I don't need this one no you can put them here in case we need them later on so now we have now this search well, welcome to search me now we can log in you can think that you can log in and something but remember the room they said uh, register what's the the key to register so the question is if I go and said register and say let's say local.com my name and say register it said invalid or expired API what's exactly is doing this let's say view search code because username and then on click go to register so to register if you look very well in the code you can see it here it has an API key here and if you go to crack station it's a John Cena so you can get some idea here what's going on so we are, this key is not the correct one that's why it said so we need to change to find the key you can see it send it to to where it send it to api register.php so in so we can know there is an api downward too so so if i go now here there is an api here this is the api that the code it is calling you see it's is going there register.php I can even say here so we know the API here you see and because the API is better to do some recon here so if we do this for example um, <coughs> the buster I don't like the new uh, let's meet this part. the buster what Uh, what the hell? What am I going on? I forgot the, the directory listing. <laughs> Is a share with list. Hey, dead buster. Why my dead buster doesn't? forget this this the name of the command what's going on why why my dead pasta doesn't yeah dead pasta yeah why auto command it doesn't work derp start the machine server no it can't be all 
Oh guys, I, I'm a little bit confused now. What the hell happened in here in this machine? I just I just restarted now. So in theory, there bust. Why uh, locate? I restart this attack box now, so I don't know what the hell is uh, root that's up there bust. This is directory, so it's not uh, the binary. Use a share. Go basta, hey, hey. You know, sometimes you really <laughs> not now. Hold on, hold on a minute. So. Uh, you can see now we go API registered given the, 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 the JSON. Uh, go buster, not the buster. Okay. Uh, directory minus U. Uh, I'm trying now to, what, what I'm trying to go to get is to find the end point of the API. Anything we can test, we can find because in this room we can play around. Uh, nice way to use a share word list. Um, the buster. Can go directory to medium, and then l let me look because I'm looking for PHP. So dot PHP, and then I need to ignore the SSL warning. So I need to add minus K. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay just let me cancel it quickly because sometimes you do this. No, this error. I'm interested now in this one. That's the only one I don't need to find. You find see the config, look out the post the upload.php so it's interesting now then we have a directory called uploads so let's do that so we know we there's something here so we can give it give you an idea of the shell here so it means if we can upload file later on we can have the shell here so so that's cool so for now let's have we have the upload and so it means we can upload too you can do an upload.php here that's fine so now wh where we are now we know with the register it said we don't so we need an api key so if we search now look here's the my problem when i, I start these things uh, 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 to be honest uh, I don't use too much if we search name of the site you know you can start there is a lot of them so one of the idea I noticed it one of the the forum is that because the language they're using is PHP if we filter there and then you can see super secure develop I'd, I saw this one but I didn't go too much on it and uh, ironically that, that's the answer if we go now we can see now in the header public so it's not interesting then we have rewrite engine PHP F no then we have the API you see the register <coughs> header X by if we go to ours now wh where we are now uh, let me go back if you go to the to this extra hack me API key extra hack me API key to be announced or something so it's we still need to look for it um, so one way to so how can we find this so if a developer did this before so we can see the upload PHP it's also later on we can see is using magic files uh, we came back to this but let's see this one so the question is <coughs> that sometimes what <coughs> some developer doing mistake in um, githubs so you go to history click that history and you say okay it give you the answer so the initial comment let's go this no the initial comment is this it give you the whole so how these guys start and then you can see the key we have the key here 
and we can confirm this key we can so if we have the key so the next step to do is simply we need to register so we can run the proxy register so we can have this send it to repeater then we have repeater so just stop the proxy never save sorry guys I'm a bit confused now no if we go now to repeat you can see this is key do not work if we send it like that invalid expire key so from this so we should come to find this key so if we come this change the key here oops uh, I didn't copy sorry okay you know we need to change the key if I change the key now no access if you register so if I use what I register here my username my username and password so now if I go now in I register I have the flag no, that's not that's uh, things there, but that's not interesting for me. Now my next idea. So we have this. Let me show you another way to do it. Yes, I want to exit. Let me start the proxy. Let me try to find the key without with the Zap proxy okay let it start so now we have the key we have the domains because we have this we know the lead checker so we get ideas if we get the email of the admin we can get his password uh, we have the flag we have the the ss so what we can do here so the same things here we can do is here we know we find this interesting file so let's now we do the same things let me keep this window open so uh, what the hell I opened no sorry let me get the zap proxy where is it all the zap proxy a new window new tab so what the hell? So now let's let's do for example what we can find there. If I want to go try hack me uh, public HTML. Let's see what we have in this folder. We have the dashboard which we are on. Then we have the upload, we have the admin we don't have access to, it's at 4.3. Uh, we have the register, we already register, but we have this interesting little file. Let's try this one. So we have upload. Uh, sorry, let me see what it said upload.php why is it not found up uh, upload sorry I did a mistake in typing so we have the upload file of course now we can do the same things like for example view page source and upload okay let's say start I want to show you something in this uh, Let's, let me show you this because I want to show you how, how you can get it without uh, no close don't update they changed the name to call it now OWASP ZAP um, to do OWASP first, first we need to fix the, the SSL quickly uh, tools option dynamic SSL go to new screen save okay let me get to this Firefox let me do uh, 
always the sit in sit in cert view set and then we just need to import what we got now this OSAP set then we click there so we can activate the next next now we have the SSL now we can do register again let me do that let me log out let me try to register with a new name let's say Jalil1 one, one email one at local.com let's do that let's get it through the proxy it's not going through pep it's going through I hope it work it's supposed to pick it up okay good luck for you okay we have it here you see let me close the I don't need too much proxies running around and now we have this if you go to request this is my request my respond and valid IP IKS so what we can do here we do fuzz and it takes about 5 minutes or something to, to work so we can fuzz this IP API key I can just say fuzz and then payload and then we can go to I can add file select file I need to go to that thing uh, user share <coughs> no damn it Oops. sorry a uh, user share word list ROQ because ROQ is the one that has a lot of word it's a big file that's so don't worry about it no we need to process it because remember remember it's an MD5 so we can add uh, MD5 hash no add okay it will not need the whole file but uh, for me uh, you, I can see if it's working but um, um, 20% let's let's leave it work let's leave it not do the fuzzing we'll come back when it's 20% now uh, let's do the shell so I know my first user remember we create the user this one so we can log in now I need to now next one is the upload file that's how we can do the shell and then this is the register uh, that's the upload we have we have it here so let's look here uh, where it send it it send it to upload the PHP the, 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 the API one but if we look for example here from this file uh, let me go back to if we look now the, the upload file look is a chicken it is a checking the magic key so we need to bypass this and then is also checking a log station JPG but is not really checking where is the code uh, file name file temporary file extension path extension we, we need to bypass this to this and this so now uh, let's get uh, let's get let's get refer shell uh, if we go now to PHP I get the uh, the one that usually we use for all tri tri hacking rooms sorry guys I'm uh, running around too many places so extract just say the right character quit so let's go back let's see how many this it's still literally run there now let's remember we did this so now we have the shell let's copy php reverse shell.php to our shell.php so if I go shell.php I 
can come here, put my IP. Ten dot ten dot fifty six dot fifty six dot one nine three. That's my MP box. So I can do that just to check something else. Let's see if, if LV and P one two three four. Just leave it there running. So we can see now. <laughs> you can le let's play around. So if I go now and say, oh, okay, let's upload the. Uh, Whatever I got now, the shell of course will not upload it because it will tell you only files. So, so we need to figure out a solution. We know it's running to, uh, We know <coughs> we know it's checking the byte. So we need to change. Let's let's write the JPG and we have this file. So let's do that. So we need to go there. You know, there's a room in Triacme. I forgot what's the room, because basically we just need to add four characters, and then hex edit, which is not exactly here. So we need to install it. Let's wait for it. Let's see how our friends up. Fifteen. I think it he got it in uh, seventeen twenty percent. Let's uh, let it uh, run. Let it run there. <coughs> Let's wait for it. So basically, what left for us? We need to get this email. Because if we get this, e uh, we get the email, we get the password. To, that's why you know we need to upload the file from here. Why is a bit slow? Because okay, so now if we go hex edit our shell. Now, if we look here, it's already gave us. Uh, if we go with the JPG file, so it's FF. Oops, sorry. FF then we have D8 D8 FF D8 FF E0 E0 okay control X to save I say yes save let's make sure we have it so we already have it so okay of course if we uh, if you go file shell, it tell you it's a JPEG image. Now, if I try, of course, and if I try, I'm just doing this so we can confirm things. Uh, again, is check it is is uploaded directly? Huh? It doesn't uh, do the, the extension. I'm very surprised. How come it doesn't? Uh, it doesn't. If I set, if I set file, file f is. File name path extension. Uh. Plus info file extension. Is only checking the. Is only checking the magic bytes. If check, so it's not checking the. Allow extension, request. If I set just a username. Uh, so if a person is logging, the file got sent. That's the only extension. Uh, if three test, then magic. So it's not checking the file extension. So basically, you can just uh, because I thought uh, 
I thought to say copy shell uh, shell PSP to shell dot png for example but we don't need it because he's not checking he's not checking he's only checking the the magic uh, byte it doesn't uh, it doesn't check in anything else a load extension is not and uh well at least the way I see it so it's fine so we got it so remember we got before when we tried here we have the upload, uh, upload, upload, what is that upload directory? Uploads, you can see we found the upload directory before and it's here, uh, where is it? This one, under the API uploads you see we have it there you can see we get in the shell so if we go there to our map, we have a shell and earth and an ID. So let's do the. I need to to start memorizing this. I don't want to memorize it for whatever reason. So let's get stubby shell and then the next one is export. I didn't know that it. So my computer is freezing. Uh, I didn't know that he's not checking the ext extension. So I think that's why it's easy room. So it doesn't want to to complicate things to anyone. So uh, row tty. Uh, okay. Control Z. Then now we can see what look for whatever interesting stuff. So there's no funny directories there. If we go to CD Home, we can say LS minus LA, LS minus LA. Try hack me. There's nothing special here. It's just uh, things. Then <coughs> Ubuntu, we have X authority, but we can't read or nothing about it. Bash history, wherever profile, SSH. This one basically the, the, you can run wherever you want, but the best way is just look for the, the application folder. We know it's in the var. W. So if we go there, we can say, but some files we don't can read them. So we can read leak certificate. So that's not important. Leak checker. It's a, it's a directory. But we can't really read it. We don't have permission to read the, the script because remember we're looking for this now. We're looking for this. Take for example now if you go view page source. He, he sent the email to where he sending it to? Post type post our email check email dot php, so we know where he's sending it to, but we can't hack there. So what else we can see here? Uh, you see this is interesting. Backup. So so we can go inside that folder. No no, where is it? It's not here. You can see this backup folder here. You can see my LA, and we see we can read it. You can see we are we have read access. So if I cut user SQL, it's an SQL table. You have username and email. Uh, auto modify. 
Let's start from the top. The file is does the SQL PHP version 8 postman database and then we have the users we have the admin and we have the encrypted password and then we have the email of the person which is this the email so if we copy that and just come to leak check here and we have the the password for the email let me do something quickly let me log out here quickly guys i want to check you that zap work remember i register with jelly one let's see if that jelly one work i logged so now zap we found the things let me show you what what i mean i can just stop it one thing to do for this when you do this fuzzing in zap so you can do this but it didn't work for me because they look all the same size i couldn't find uh, one different so you can go to search now http <coughs> fuzz result remember when when the response a response say error invalid or expire pip if i go now to to the login Edit said registration six of please log in or it save you error error. So if I search for example for the word six uh, sixty fold in zap, so I just tell him search to me this word. Let's search it. Because remember we run and I'm able to log in with my username. So zap sh mean he was able to uh, create that's how I did it the first time so I didn't want to so, so to be clear so the first time uh, you can see you found it successful so if I go here and here I can get the IPI key a request this is the IPI key so we found the IPI key through Zap you see so yeah so and that's the response so that's why i was able to log in with jelly one so you can do it through this through um uh, through zap or you can as we did here and through this website so i still don't understand uh, yeah but yesterday i'm not sure why the upload didn't work for me yesterday but but uh, but this is guys hope you like it and um, you enjoy the room and thank you very much and support the channel by subscribing and liking thank you very much have a good day